it's a game from which you are going to learn a lot unrated ashok upadhyay takes on i am rahil malik a very talented youngster ashok is playing with white pieces and he opens the game with d4 knight f6 c4 g6 you have knight f3 on the board rahil plays the king's indian but no he goes for the grunfeld now d5 and bishop f4 line played which is one of the most popular lines against the grunfeld black castles quickly e3 just solidifying the center and generally in such positions c5 is the main move to strike in the center back uh, that's how you play the grunfeld you must hit the center as quickly as possible opening up the line for the queen but you can see there rahil playing c6 he generally doesn't play the grunfeld he likes to play the slow defense so he's clearly just trying to experiment in this tournament that he has come to play at the phoenix market city here knight bd7 played and this is a very risk free advantage for white white castles it's a 5 minute plus 2 second increment game and it's the first ever chess base india chess club tournament that is held there are tournaments held on fourth saturday of every month the first one was in october the next one will happen in november for now rahil is thinking how to continue one way is to hit the bishop with knight h5 the other idea is to take on c4 and then move your knight to b6 and so on let's see what he comes up with rahil is an amazing young talent he became an im at the age of just 12 years and he's also managed to beat quite a few 2600 plus opponents right now he is busy with his studies he's reached the 10th grade so that's the reason why he isn't playing too many tournaments but he made his schedule he freed up his schedule to play this tournament which is actually a great practice for the players at the chess base india chess club bishop takes c4 played by ashok and now knight to h5 hitting the bishop and it's pretty good that he's won the bishop white should have actually tried to keep the bishop in this position with bishop g5 but instead ashok went to g3 and rahil instantly picked it up and now he goes e5 once you have the bishop pair you want to open up the position so a very logical decision there opening up the bishop well you can say that black has comfortably equalized in this opening and rahil is down a minute on the clock ashok has 4 minutes 23 seconds here <clears throat> one way to continue now is to take on e5 but after knight e5 knight e5 bishop e5 you can see that this bishop is an absolute monster the other bishop will come on this diagonal which will also be very strong so taking might not be the best but if you play d5 which looks very logical then black goes knight b6 oh he takes it that's not a good move and now rahil has a great position takes on e5 bishop e5 on the board the power of bishop pair can be seen and not only do you have the bishop pair you also have the queen side majority which will start rolling in the position so white needs to create play of his own but how does he do that one of the common errors that lower rated players or unrated players do against stronger opponents is that they try to exchange a lot of pieces and they think that every exchange brings them closer to a draw and that's that's where you see he exchanges the queens and now puts the rook on d8 Rahil goes bishop to g4 attacking the rook on d1 maybe he just wants white to pro play f3 you know he could have gone directly bishop d7 but he feels like if white goes f3 his g3 pawn would become weak and that's what he's trying to provoke also if ashok were to take on d8 then black gets the open file so that is something that you don't want to do as white 
टाइम वाइज ऑल्सो राहिल हैज़ नाउ मूवड अप ही हैज थर्टी सेकेंड्स मोर ऑन द क्लॉक एफ थ्री गुड मूव प्लेड हैव टू मूव द बिशप अवे एंड इफ यू गो नाउ बिशप टू एफ फाइव देर इज ई फोर और जी फोर इन द पोजिशन So Rahul takes his time and he moves his bishop back to d7. King comes up to f2. Excellent move. Uh, just defending the pawn and also the king can be a useful asset in the end game. B5, hitting the bishop there. Bishop to b3, moving back. And now Rahul plays b4. Maybe not the smartest of ideas here because after knight a4, the c5 square is very weak. the knight can sit here the bishop also uh looking at this diagonal but i think the knight on a4 is very nicely placed so perhaps it was not needed to push the pawn he maybe could have played h5 to limit the g3 pawn goes knight to a4 now where does the Why does Black go now? Like, what does he do? He can't play c5 because if he plays c5, then knight takes c5 is possible. And otherwise, White may want to put his rook on c1 and the knight on c5 later on after defending b2. So he goes bishop f5. I think now a very good move could have been g4, just kicking away the bishop there. He goes e4. Rahil moves the bishop back. Well, it's a very unfortunate decision that he has to make, which is to exchange off these bishops, because he would have liked to sort of. keep the bishop pair in the position and now white should yeah takes on e6 f6 e maybe king e3 is smart oh but g3 is hanging so he plays f4 that's fine bishop d4 check and the king comes to e2 as you can see now it's white who is putting pressure if white gets the moves rook c1 b3 then already the c6 pawn is weak the c5 square is weak there is there are too many issues that's what rahil of course understands being a strong player he is trying to figure out what is the way in which he can wriggle out of this mess one way is to push his pawn to e5 and sort of defend his bishop the other one is to play c5 but c5 rook c1 does seem pretty good He pushes his pawn to c5. It's a good move there. But now let's say if yes, rook c1, good again. Rook d8, and now b3 or rook c4 makes a lot of sense. And Ashok goes there. Very good move. Excellent play by Ashok in this position, uh, in this game overall. Now after he didn't play so well in the opening, he has all of a sudden got a very nagging edge here. it might look like the bishop is very strong on d4 but the c5 pawn is a big weakness king f7 played b3 on the board rahil quickly wanting to get his king here in he plays e5 and now just rook d c1 would be very strong because you can't defend the c5 pawn you are now losing the pawn and with that white would get a big advantage but he goes king f3 which allows the black king to enter the game and both players kind of low on time rahil has 58 seconds ashok has 1 minute 10 seconds 
rook h1 played trying to attack the h7 pawn there and he plays h5 rook comes back to c1 c5 pawn is attacked i think rahil can just defend it with king d6 rahil making sure that he doesn't blunder something under time pressure because after going king d6 there is f takes e5 in the he plays this if you now take f e5 then king e5 if knight takes c5 then already rook f8 and black is the one who's getting counter play via the f2 square and so yes while f e5 does win a pawn it's not a great idea so he goes rook d1 rook c7 but that's not great because now knight takes c5 is a brilliant tactic if you take here f e5 king e5 and rook d d4 and white is a pawn up but ashok misses misses it he plays rook d3 rahil instantly goes rook f8 starting to make certain waiting moves which allows rahil to start pushing in the position but h4 is a big mistake the point here is that king g4 is a is a wonderful move and after hg3 now fe5 king e5 and rook d d4 is totally winning but he plays king g3 look at this if he had taken rook d d4 pawn cannot take back because this is hanging but instead he goes king g3 and now rahil has a chance to save his bishop play bishop f2 and get a winning position but he blunders once more that's a huge mistake a huge mistake black would be winning if not for white's next move you can see that rahil knows he's blundered a small stare at his opponent while ashok also knows he has a winning position he takes on d4 this is not very common that an unrated player wins a piece against an im takes and now it's a total piece up so there's nothing to play for here white is a complete piece up he goes knight to c5 rook d6 wants to push the pawn down the board rook e7 excellent move king f6 and now e5 would just finish off the game but instead he goes rook d7 it's also fine rook c6 needs to move his knight or not 10 seconds to go he goes rook d5 good move it's all about handling your nerves now because ashok would not have even in his wildest dreams thought that he could have beaten rahil in a tournament game g4 check he goes king e5 good move rook comes in king takes d4 takes on a2 you can see how rahil is moving quickly putting ashok under complete pressure he's come down to one second he's played king e6 and now check king here check king here check king here oh my god are they drawing the game is piece up oh he agrees to a draw he agrees to a draw there he couldn't handle his nerves he was a complete piece up and uh, yeah rook f4 was a blunder as bishop f2 and rahil was better but uh, yeah the in the end beating a higher rated opponent is a lot about keeping your nerves and not just about your chess skills but this is there's a lot to learn from this that if you make good moves and even if you are unrated you can beat strong opponents